Dear friends and followers, welcome back to my channel. Today, we'll be looking at a new technique, how airlines will clean their aircraft from any viruses and bacteria before you board their plane, that you can go back to traveling and catch some sun at your favorite holiday destination. Ready to do some futuristic cleaning, and let's get started. The tower for you will be 1191. You will not hear him say clear for takeoff, but I promise you'll be the first one he does. Today's video is brought to you by Honeywell. The pandemic is among us and probably will be around for a little while longer. We have seen all the empty skies, the countless parked planes at airports and the abandoned terminal buildings. Yes, the COVID-19 pandemic is the worst crisis the passenger airline industry has ever been confronted with. But not all hope is lost as a few airlines and airports are implementing procedures reducing the risk of getting infected by the coronavirus or any other infectious disease whilst being in the airport terminal and once you've boarded the plane. From 15 minutes corona quick tests, social distancing on the planes to wearing a mask at all times, these airlines are trying to make the travel experience for their passengers as safe as possible. Now, despite all the harsh regulations enforced by the local governments, air travel has become a real challenge for any passenger. I therefore have huge respect for all the effort they put into making air travel somewhat possible. But my question is, how are they providing a cleaner surface aircraft when their passengers board their plane? Now, don't get me wrong, but planes are not the cleanest places in the world, not even after the cleaning team went through them using one cloth to wipe down 210 tray tables. After the outbreak of the coronavirus, airlines took drastic measures and started to disinfect the entire cabin with Bacoban spray, which primarily consists of benzyl conium chloride. It works great as it kills the virus to near 99%, but over time reduces the plastic softener particles in the seats, etc., making them more porous and brittle to eventually ruin the seats in the long run. Another side effect, you have to wipe down the sprayed surfaces, which costs time and there is no guarantee that you get every little area of the airplane's cabin. So a new form of cleaning method had to be developed and I personally was super curious whilst doing the research for this video, what techniques or systems companies would come up with as cleaning a plane isn't as easy as cleaning the countertop of your kitchen. Then I stumbled upon an incredible machine developed and built by Honeywell. It looks super futuristic and trust me, they are onto something. It's called the Honeywell UV treatment system using UVC light to reduce various bacteria and viruses up to 99% on all surfaces. It has the size of a standard cabin trolley and it comes with extendable wings that sort of hover over the cabin seats, radiating UVC light across all surfaces. But before we clean the cabin, we need to understand what UVC light is and what it has to do with bananas. You'll see in a minute. UV stands for ultraviolet light and has three categories, UVA, B and C. Now, believe me, you've all seen UVA light before. For example, the lady at the cashier sometimes checks your banknote on its authenticity and holds the money below an ultraviolet light. Now, you can't see UV light with your eyes, but the high frequency light waves get reflected of the watermarks printed onto the banknote making them visible. Now, a similar effect when you go to the clubs and they have black lights installed, which emits UV light, making your white clothes stand out from the crowd. Now, that type of light is harmless to your eyes and skin. The slightly more dangerous and harmful UVB light is a few wavelengths shorter and is used in sunbeds, literally burning your skin that you can have a tan all year long. But ultraviolet category C has an even shorter wavelength from 200 to 280 nanometers, making it more dangerous to the human body. Now, side note, where have you seen UVA and B before? Yes, on sunscreen bottles. Sunscreens come with a UV blocker or protection as sunlight can contain light among the UV wavelengths, which will cause a nasty sunburn if you don't protect yourself. And who else doesn't like sunburns? Well, as studies have shown, germs, bacteria, and viruses on plane seats and tray tables can be killed up to 99% with so-called 
germicidal UV light with a wavelength of 254 nanometers. So Honeywell came up with the idea to convert the sun's UVC light rays into a light bulb, which they've installed into the foldable wings of their UV treatment system. So once the wings are extended, the operator turns on the lights. Now the ones on the wings point downwards onto the seats and upwards to the cabin ceiling. And the one center light pole shining into or along the overhead bins. Now the operator then slowly pushes the cart through the cabin aisle and halfway through the cabin, a flight attendant will then start folding down the tray tables as the operator will come around for a second application on his way back to the forward cabin. Meaning the cabin gets a double UVC light exposure and after completion of the second pass, the operator then can use a handheld wand attached on the cart and clean the forward lavatory and the cockpit instruments. I have to say, given the option that the operator can even clean the cockpit surfaces is fantastic because I've experienced a nasty bacterial infection from a contaminated cockpit instruments myself. I was out for three weeks, no joy, trust me. Now your question might be, why does the operator have to wear so much protective clothing? A few videos on YouTube have revealed what happens if you expose a banana to one of those handheld UVC ones that have flooded the online market. Now assuming that the skin of a banana has similarities with our human skin, people have exposed the banana under UVC light for approximately 15 minutes and the results are pretty staggering. Therefore, the operator has to cover up his skin and wear protective goggles over his eyes to shield himself from the harmful UVC light. As mentioned before, UVC is stronger than UVB and A. Now, some of you might know how painful and dangerous it can be if you've fallen asleep in a sunbed. Therefore, I wouldn't recommend buying one of those handheld UVC ones as they are unsafe not approved and can be very harmful to your eyes and skin. I personally think this is a great solution Honeywell came up with. It's mobile, has the size of a standard cabin trolley, meaning it can easily be on and off loaded onto the plane. It's battery powered, making it independent of the airplane's power supply. And the whole application process doesn't take longer than 10 minutes, which is great as refueling a plane will as well take a minimum of 10 minutes. And the light exposure is persistent and consistent, getting every area every time compared to a manual cleaning application. And secondly, it significantly reduces the tested bacteria and viruses, making air travel safer again. I'm very much looking forward to seeing the UV treatment system in action in upcoming flights, as this is a great step into the right direction, making air travel safer and regaining the trust of our passengers. Please share your thoughts on the system and let me know if you would feel more comfortable boarding a plane after your seats were treated with UVC light. That's it for today. Thank you very much for your time. Here's your checklist for today. Subscribe to my channel. Check. Activate the notification bell. Check. Follow my Instagram account. Check. Perform a touch and go at my website. Check. And don't forget, a good pilot is always learning, especially in a clean aircraft. <laughs> Wishing you all the best. Your Captain Jones.